Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Captain Mike Pruitt uh, with Wayne Township Fire Department Public Information Officer, and I am here on the scene of what was a working structure fire in a commercial building about 11 o'clock today. Um, you can see off in the back, we still have some aerial operations going on, uh, but crews did arrive on the scene about 11 a.m. this morning to a fully involved uh, commercial structure. Uh, had to go defensive operations right out of the gate due to the, the amount of fire that was involved. Uh, we did not want to put anybody inside to, uh, to cause any injury to any of our firefighters. So uh, we had to lay down a lot of supply line from the street, a couple thousand feet of five inch supply hose uh, to get water on this fire. Once we got water on the fire, uh, then we got everything taken care of in about 30 minutes and then we've just moved on to mop up operations at that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little final broadcast from the scene here and we're going to uh, just kind of start from where the guys are picking up the hose and we're actually going to walk up to the fire scene and get some final video. So if you're tuning in, if you have any questions about what uh, we've been doing out here or about the fire that I can talk to you about, why uh, we'll do that. So you see crews are picking up hose. Uh, quite a bit of work that the engine crews, uh, Decatur Engine 71, uh, who was on the fire along with Indianapolis Fire assisting us. So we're now going to walk up towards the fire. There were uh, multiple calls on this fire. It could be seen from uh, quite a distance away from the amount of smoke that was coming off. Uh, the building was vacant. There wasn't any equipment inside. Uh, the only concern was in an adjacent building where there were four barrels of a material that were unknown. Uh, they were not exposed to the fire in any way. We did call in Marion County Help and Hazmat uh, to come in and check those out. Property owner uh, has been contacted so that he can come here and assist our investigators. Uh, we're passing by Engine 81, who's also one of the engines that laid out quite a bit of hose to establish our water supply. A large fire like this, uh, once we get the flowing water, we're flowing a couple thousand gallons a minute between aerial trucks and hand lines, I uh, can get real busy. But as you can see, pretty much uh, the building uh, was totally destroyed. And like I said, when we arrived on the scene, we pretty much had a fully involved building. Uh, crews were able to keep the fire from uh, totally destroying an adjacent building. That's where those barrels were. And uh, so Health and Hazmat's checking those out. Ladder 82 set up operations on the east side of the structure. And then as I pan across, uh, Aerial 71 set up operations on the west side of the structure and water supply was started. We had one firefighter with a slight injury. He was treated here at the scene and released and he's back at work so it wasn't anything too serious. We had about 60 firefighters from, took from Indianapolis, Decatur and, uh, and Wayne responding total. That's support cars and fire apparatus uh, together. So now we're just, again, moving into the mop-up operations, uh, which is a lot of work in itself, and especially when we put down as much hose as we have. Um, so, but everything is going well. Uh, we've got the situation fully under control. There was no issues for anyone around the neighborhood. So we are all solid there. So if you have any questions about uh, what we're doing out here, or firefighting in general, um, a lot of the guys tease me I'm on a ladder truck, so they'll probably say that I don't know much about firefighting. That's okay. I can take the ribbing. Not an issue. So if you have any questions. There will be some firefighter that we'll be posting. Uh, you'll be able to access that through uh, Twitter or on our Facebook page. If you go to Wayne Township Fire Department's Facebook page, I am going to put some video up on that a little bit later when I get a chance. So if you have any questions, I'm going to stay on here for about one more minute. And then uh, I'm going to continue to just uh, hang out and uh, help these guys clean up a little bit as we get crews back in service. I'm glad everybody could join us today. Um, this is kind of a new thing uh, for a lot of agencies broadcasting live. Uh, a lot of the news agencies are using Periscope. It's great. Uh, it's an awesome way to get out uh, messages and actually show you some live stuff going on on many of our scenes. Uh, sometimes I have time to do this uh, and sometimes I don't, but today was a very good opportunity to uh, get you guys out and get using uh, Periscope, so it's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so we do appreciate everybody following us uh, out, here on the, out here on the west side of Indianapolis. 
foam. No, we do not use caps. We use water. We just have copious amounts of water, so we rely on that uh, to put out the fires. Yes, it can be described as like a ride along, no doubt about that. Uh, and you're safe from the exposures of the elements of the smoke and the heat, so uh, that makes it kind of cool. Yeah, the media is using, uh, that's where I got mine. I started out with the Periscope, is uh, kind of follow along with our news folks when they start using tools. Um, I know that it must be a pretty good tool to use. So, so I've been doing this for about a week and a half with Periscope, and it really works out really well for us at this point. So, whether we're doing events or actual fires, uh, it's a pretty good application to use. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, the Periscope app, Get on, download it, it ties into your Twitter account, and it works out really well. Good to hear Sioux City exploring Periscope. You can eat your popcorn and watch all the, uh, all the excitement playing out here on the fire scenes, absolutely. These days in social media, uh, myself and my fellow PIOs, not only within my department, uh, but all the surrounding departments, we utilize social media a ton these days. It's almost become our new press release. Things go live on social media before we can even get a chance to talk about them as public information officers. So we absolutely jump on social media and use that as uh, much as we can. So Indianapolis has a great, uh, they are big into social media and so they do a great job of getting their messages and stories out. Um, their public information office is really good about getting that information out also. A little shout out to my other PIO in the department, uh, Lieutenant Troy Weimer. I see he pops in there. He's watching us. So, you like it when I post the CAD? Yeah. You know, a lot of people call and ask, do we have that automatically tied into the CAD uh, to where it automatically posts? Uh, I would like to think that we're that fancy, but we're not. So I basically do a right-click copy after it comes to my phone and post it or I paste it on our Twitter and Facebook feed. So that's kind of how you get the CAD information. So one of these days, I'm sure that it'll be an automatic direct feed if you if you want to choose it to do that. So. So you get the alerts. That's awesome. That's awesome. We have several people that do that. I actually, what's funny is if I don't get it done real quick, I actually get inbox messages on Facebook. If people hear a lot of sirens, uh, wanting to know what's going on because I have not posted the CAD feed. So kind of spoiled everybody, but that's cool. I mean, that's all part about getting the message out to the community and what we're doing out here, not only in Wayne Township, but just in the fire service in general. Um, you know, you don't always know. I mean, these fires, they make the news. But I gotta tell you, there's a lot of other things our guys do that don't make the news out there in the middle of the night, up at two o'clock in the morning, helping citizens with various issues. We're kind of a, a, a jack of all trades, master of none sometimes, but, but we can pretty much do, do it all, depending on, depending on what it is, of course. But that would drive me crazy. It's, it's, all, whether, it, it's all to the personal preference, but that's cool. Yes, we've heard of Indiana Fire Ground Information. Actually, the guys take a lot of pictures. Uh, the buffs that get out with the cameras and take a lot of our photos, I actually use those because many times they show up on the scenes long before uh, I do. So they actually get some pretty good photos for us. Thank you very much, Kyle BU2000. So we appreciate everybody following. So I'm going to go ahead and close up things here a little bit, but I just want to give you a summary large commercial structure fire. Uh, defensive operations when they arrived on the scene, Decatur, Wayne, and Indianapolis Fire Departments were on this fire. Uh, the fire was brought under control in about 30 minutes. This building was not occupied. And so now we're just in the process of cleaning up. We do not have a cause as of yet. Our investigators on the scene now working to see if they can find out uh, what, what, what started this fire. So make sure you follow us on Twitter. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. We're on Instagram. 
and any of our other neighboring fire departments around here follow those guys too they're out there hard working every day and uh, give them a tweet tell them a good job they're doing and support the fire service and emergency medical services and uh, I will catch you guys again soon uh, make sure you just follow us on our next uh, our next big incident or whatever we're doing out there uh, in the general public so I want I'm going to sign off for now, but thanks again for everybody coming out, following us today as our guys have been working their butts off to get this fire under control. So have a good Memorial Day weekend. I said this earlier, we cannot thank um, people enough on Memorial Day for those people that have lost loved ones uh, serving our country. So this is a special day, uh, always keeping it, you and your family in our thoughts. and. Uh, and for those of you out there that uh, are thinking about getting into the military, man, it's a good, good way to go. It's a good way to go for service to your country. And uh, so I want everybody to have a safe uh, Memorial Day, and uh, we will catch back up with you soon. Stay tuned for future broadcasts from Wayne Township Fire. Have a good day.